how to restore your work in Photoshop. Photoshop 221, revert it back to an earlier version. It was a great new feature. Version history, version history, you can find it over here in file and version history. Now this is not in 2020 or earlier versions, only 2021, also 2023, 2022, I am certain as well. Also you can find it in window and version history. And here's the panel itself. So what does it do? Well, it requires the cloud. If you haven't got the cloud, you're not saving your files to the cloud, it will not work. Only the cloud. So start with, go to File and Save As, and you can see Cloud. So just save it as Cloud Document, and it will be saved as a PSDC file. That's the key thing. And as a PSDC file, you've got this option. You've got all of the different changes. Now, of course, I saved this yesterday, so it's got a number of different changes that I've made. And you can see I started at 8.59 yesterday. And I can simply, or here's last week, even earlier actually, 11th of July and 13.26. And I can quickly click there and you can see my earliest version that I saved. It also does it when you close. So if I've got some work, I'll do some work here. Maybe I go to image adjustments and apply an effect. So change it garish yellow like that. What you can do, I can close. So just close the document or save, but you can close it as well. And then once you open it again, just go over here, file open, and I'm just gonna, it's a PSDC file. That's the key thing. And of course, what you've got, you've got all of the entries. So today, obviously now 1225, it's now 1225, and there's my version 1225. That's saved. I don't need to go to this file and save to save it. So it's stored there. But if I decide, you know what, I don't want that version. It's a garish green, uh, me holding my water or coffee at the time. I can go back and go back to this version. So that version, that one was an oil paint effect. So I can just go over here to there's a little couple of dots, dot, 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 dot there. And I can go click there and revert to this version. So I can restore it very quick and easy. So revert to this version. Takes a few seconds, it says revert into selected version, maybe super quick, super slow, depends of course. I've got a very fairly small file here. So if you've got like 5,000 layers, because that's what it saves as well. It saves layers, saves layer effects, it saves everything. So if you've got a lot, I'm certain it's gonna be a bit slower. But you can restore it very quickly to that version. And you can run through, so you can just see all the different works. So I've got a purple version there, I've got a blurred version there, a green version, and this is what you can do. You can create ones that maybe you've got a bright version, a light version, a dark version, maybe a blurred version, a distorted version, versions that with multiple layers and things. You can have all those, and you can just quickly go through them and decide, you know what, I want that one. So revert to this version. So you've got a little preview. The preview is quite nice, just to quickly see. You can't make it any bigger than that. That's the size it goes. So you can just quickly bring it back. And of course, what you can then do, say I go and uh, I'm just going to add, just going to duplicate that. So I've got another copy there, very similar. And maybe go for, maybe apply an effect. So layer, layer style, let's go for drop shadow. So I add a quick drop shadow there. And maybe go for a blur. So I'm just going to blur that one. So you've got that. What you can then do, you can save it or close it again. You can go to file and save. So it's just saved. Now, it takes a few seconds again, so this now, this version 1227, it will just, it will generate it. It doesn't generate it straight away. I noticed there's a bit of a delay. There, there it is. So you've got the version. Sometimes it will come up with a little dialogue that says there's a syncing issue. So, it, but it does, we'll put it there. And then you can just, you can also click there and open in a new tab if you want to work on it in a completely different document. Also, also, what you can do, you can say name this version. So you might come and think, because well, you might have like 50, 50 entries here. What you can do is you can go and give it a name. So three of me. So you've got version there called three of me. Now it doesn't change it over here. The name of the file is still cup of coffee or cup of water, whatever you want to call it. And you've got three of me there. And you can go and go back to the other one. You think, oh, you know what? I like, say this one, because obviously this one, you've got layers. But you can see when you've restored it, you can restore it 
you can just go to this one. So I'll just say revert to that version. Brings that back. And I can always go back to this one and revert to that version. And everything is restored back again. So you've got all the drop shadows, you've got the layers, and of course you might have 50, 60 layers there. So that's really quite useful that you can just bring them back and you can go through all these ones and you can see obviously I've got, so if you've got a client that's got like, doesn't, you know, wants this, wants that, changes his mind, oh, I want that version, I want that blurry version again. You can bring it back super fast just by going here. Or maybe a black and white, you say, oh, I want the black and white version. I like that. I want that restored. Well, you can bring it back. You can see we go there, revert to this version. And you'll notice again in this, when you revert it, again, it's reasonably quick, sometimes slower, sometimes quicker. You've got that version back again. And then you can see over here, you've got black and white, different adjustments, different effects, all the filters over here. You can just add new. Any change you make here does not affect this. So if I go and go over to this one with layer selected, I can go to filter, and maybe just go for maybe a motion blur this time. So apply motion blur. So just completely blur the image. It doesn't change this. This is unaffected. This is just a version history. If I go and save this, then it will be saved. And again, it will take a few seconds to uh, 1229. Let's just uh, let's say. Oh, 1230. Eventually, there's the version. So you can see you've got the blurred version there. And you can run through this over and over again with all the different versions. And you can see the art. You can see you can. However, big thing that you should notice that unless you mark them, unless you mark these files, these versions, they will not be saved forever. They're 30 days. It's a 30 day. I, Obviously, a limit that Adobe have added to it, 30 days, and they're cleared down. So you, you will lose these after 30 days. However, there is a workaround about that. You simply just go over here, over here and you'll notice there's a little marker there. Not particularly obvious what it is, but what you can do, you've got marked versions. These ones are unmarked versions because they're just obviously, but you can go over there and say, you know what, I want that to be marked. The purple one, whatever. Let's just go to one, that one, black and white one there. So you can just click there and it's saved and you can say black and white on the side. Side image, whatever. And you've got that. And then if you go up to mark versions up here and you can see there black and white on the side one that's been saved. And again, you can revert to this version, rename this version. Now, there is no option, weirdly. You can't right click, you can't. There's no delete a version. So there, once you've got your history, you've got your history. So you can add these things, but you can't. Sounds like a song coming on there, possibly. However, you can't delete them. But you can run through, and it says here, end of history. Versions expire after 30 days. Mark the ones you want to keep. So that is definitely a big, big thing. So this is it. You just superb. Just you've got a complete history of all your work. At no point now using. And I was a bit, what's the name, of the cloud. I was not, I was saving my files to the, and I don't know why they didn't do it to the, but they've obviously want to, uh, for the cloud, and save it to the cloud, you can now save and see all your previous work. And I think that's just brilliant. Because I, I've got often doing lots of changes, and I think, oh, I do a, add, change a pattern. So you could maybe add a pattern layer. In fact, I haven't tried that yet, so I'm just gonna go and do it now. So I've got to design a designer layer here, Let's just add a pattern layer. So layer, new fill layer and pattern. Click OK. And you've got a design there. Whatever. So I'm just going to save that. And I'm just going to save that. Maybe add a blending mode to it. Just to so I can maybe see through it. Let's do something overlay. Yeah, let's just see. So what that? Then you can go to, or maybe gradient as well. So you can file and save. And again. Go down there, you've got the marked versions there, and then you've got today. And again, it takes a bit of time just to appear because it's now 12, 1233. Oh, there's the 1233 version. So if I go there, and oh, that one there, say, and revert to that version. So obviously over here in the layers panel, that will change. That's gone back to what it was, black and white. If I go up here, 
sometimes it does say a tendency to say, oh, there's, it's uh, just randomly, I, I don't know why it saved that version. Very strange. So if it, but it might, so you might suddenly see a copy of something appearing that you don't remember saving or closing, but it's just put it into the version history. Well, it's not a big deal, but there is that version there. So again, if you want, you can always go there and revert to this version. And it's reversing it. Obviously, the more you've got in it, I'm certain that the slower it's going to be. There it is. So it's saved it. You've got the pattern. It's got the blending mode. It's got the blur, motion blur, which you can, of course, remove, etc. Again, it doesn't change the previous version. So you can remove it. And those things, it's just a, super useful for just going through, trying out things, trying different effects, different things, thinking, well, this works, that doesn't work. I'm going to do this. Maybe logos. You might have a logo, different designs, different places. So you might put it there, put it there, put it there. Maybe change the word and change the font. So you could go with, say, a like, different type. So you put some type into this. X, Y, Z. You could go with that, of course. And you've got that layer there. It's just a layer. That will be stored. And you can store, maybe the words change with each version. So you could have maybe different wording that's all just then in here. You could might have different 20 different versions with different words that you can just, oh, I'll have that one, that one, that one. And you can go through them and just try them out. And then once you've got them back, you can then work on them and then save version history again. Just backwards and forwards. Really, really useful feature, I think, for in Photoshop. And version history, I haven't seen much information about it, which I find amazing. There doesn't seem to be much about it, probably because you search for Photoshop version history, doesn't return this. I mean, it returns, of course, the Photoshop version history. Photoshop 2 and 2021, 2020, 2019, etc. So it's quite uh, slightly hard to find because of the name. Maybe they shouldn't have gone with version history. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Always, I say, adding new tutorials all the time. So please check out the site. Obviously the YouTube videos, I should say, not the site, nothing to do with sites. Thank you much. Also, before you go, how will you use this? Please put in the comments. I mean, will you use this for maybe for, you know, storing things so you've got a history of your work? Maybe you're using it for, for creative effects like this, you know, maybe using patterns, designs, custom shapes, storing vector. You know, will you have a version history of like 50, 100? How many, how many versions do you have in this? Do you, have you gone for like 200? Is there a limit? Have you found issues that you've, that maybe if you could put that in the comments, it'd be really appreciated. Just great to find out about this version history. What if, issues you found with the version history? Because it is obviously a new feature, fairly new. There are things like I just pointed out, you can't delete things. You might want, you know, you might do something you just think, oh, that's awful. Well, unfortunately, when you've got version history, it's there. You might want to delete it, <laughs> you can't. So it's, uh, sometimes you, you, it sort of means, oh, right, can't delete that. That's going to be useful because, you know, create an effect that just doesn't work and you don't want it anymore and you, no, I'm never going to have any use for that. You've saved it. And that's it. It's in the history, as far as I can see. So maybe if you know a way around that, it obviously, please put it in the comments. And also, let's like say, other things about what you've been finding useful. Do you use it for type? Do you use it for adding sort of, maybe for logo design and all those sort of things? Just be great to know. Also, of course, down, knocking the table. Please, please put, obviously, the comment. And also a like or dislike. If you don't like the video, just... Just down below. Unless, of course, YouTube suddenly change their mind and put it above or something like that. Or at the side. That would be really awkward, wouldn't it? Everyone's been pointing down below. And they put it up above just to throw everyone. Anyway. Bye.